All right, so I thought I would show you how I am quilting some parts of it. So this is the loop-de-doos, and it always seems like everybody is always curious about getting around the corners. So I'm going to take you around the corner. I've got a 30 weight, really, which is a heavy thread. Let me show it to you here. There you go. It's Superior Threads Brights, which is a 30 weight, which is generally speaking the heaviest ones you can put in your... Um, machine for stitching and I've got a 90 top stitch needle going on to compensate for that heavier thread. So here I go. So I just do my loop de loos as normal and this will be the last one before I get to the corner and you'll see that I always stop at the intersection. Now I'm going to do the corner. So I do my one on top and then come down and do a longer one into the corner so he's a longer bigger one then do another top one and then go back into the bottom or the inside one. And then it's just a matter of back and forth with consistent stitch length and speed. All right? And remember your stitch length is created by you by how fast your machine and your hands are working together.